Yo, Mina, I'm back. I got over COVID. Um, I caught it at the convention that I went to, and it wasn't terrible. Um, it was the first time that I had it. Um, I think it was a lot better uh, because I got vaccinated and, and I got a booster shot. I think I got like a, a good level in my system, and I was right on the border of... Um, do for my next booster shot so i think you know i i dodged like the most severe symptoms from the um from covid so i'm, I'm glad <laughs> um just a little bit of wheezing here and there um coughing still coughing my husband's still coughing too um and yeah so <laughs> yeah um it's Nick's birthday today. Um, he is working right now. He had to go back to work. Um, he worked until noon, and then we took a break, and we uh, uh, played D&D &D with our friends, and we had lots of fun. It was lots of lots of fun. I bought him a cannoli cake and from Publix. It was really good. Had, like, little halves of mini cannolis, like, three halves of cannolis on the top and it was um it had like chocolate poured over the top of it that was kind of like dripping off and then it uh had like cannoli cream in the center and then like a whipped uh like a cool whip whipped cream based uh um frosting and it was really good so whew, i'm full i had korean food as well um <laughs> I need to watch it though because I kind of went a little crazy because I was like so hungry. I've been just uh, doing a liquid diet the past two days because my gastroparesis has been making me really sick. Um, so <laughs> uh, I need to be careful. Um, but I wanted to show you guys uh, what I've uh, got from the convention. Um, of course, you know, I have a little bit of a spending problem, my guys. I don't know if you guys have a little bit of a shopping problem sometimes. But <laughs> um, I did not go absolutely crazy. I thought I would, uh, but I did not. So I'm glad that I spent like, I think I spent like 100 bucks. So, you know, normally I spend like 250 $300 at a convention, like on fun stuff, you know, but, uh, yeah, I, I did not, uh, go anywhere near that this time, especially because I just went to Megacon and I got, like, you know, a lot from there, so, and there wasn't a whole lot at this convention, it was kind of a smaller convention, so, um, we, I got, my husband bought me a leather, uh, book. I double checked with them. They said it was ethically <laughs> claimed. Um, and it's got a really cool brass lock on it that opens like that. And then it opens up. Isn't that cool? And uh, I've got my <laughs> Etsy calculations on there. But yeah, it's a really pretty dragon scale kind of notebook. I love it. And uh, I took pictures with my friend Ashleeny. We had so much fun. Uh, I hope she's okay with me saying her name. Oh my goodness, I need to ask. Um, yay! Look, I dressed up as Natsu from Fairy Tale, and she dressed up as Sailor Mars. We had so much fun. Oh my goodness. Ah. She definitely wants to go to another convention, and I do too, um, because we just had so much fun with each other, and I know that she would like one of the bigger conventions as well. This was very, um, very niche, very small, um, but the bigger conventions have, like, big name celebrities that come and do autographs and stuff like that, so they attract, like, a bigger crowd, and, you know, they've got more events, like, bigger events stuff like that so I hope to do that with her in the future and okay next thing I got do I have everything okay oh I bought a present for Brent but don't tell 
I, I told them I bought them something, but I didn't I didn't show them yet, and I I, I don't want to show it on the camera. I don't want to. They might watch the video. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to show them. But they they were supposed to come to the convention with us, and they had something happen in their life, and they were not able to go. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I felt really bad and I got them a little, just a little something, um, to, you know, hopefully make them feel a little bit better about missing out, you know? Um, but I know that we'll get to go to a con in the future, you know? We went to, uh, Villacon together, so that was a lot of fun, so. Okay, uh, next item, I got this little Dratini, uh, Dragonair, um, uh, Pokemon, Plush. Um, it's a shiny one, I guess, because it's pink. And I don't know. I just thought it was cute. And look, you can move it. You can make it do little, little loops, and you can make it hug you if you want to. Little, little danger noodle dragon dude. Cute, right? I love the pink on it. <laughs> he's he's so cute. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like watch Pokemon I never really watched it in my youth like I watched them like Pokemon 2000 or something and that was it and I just think they're cute that's all and I played the I played some Game Boy games when I was growing up um but other than that you know I didn't really <laughs> oh anyways uh oh I played a little bit of Pokemon Go when it first came out but it got boring pretty fast um, I also got these handmade little, oh, can you see them? Come here, come here, come here, come, come, come on, look. Ah, they're little octopus tentacles. And look, I have one crawling into my ear there. You see it? Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just, uh, it's like uh, the fake gauge earrings. So it looks like they're going straight through your earlobe, right? So it's like an illusion. And oh my god, they're so freaking cute. They're like a a bright, um, it's like a, a light green fading into a metallic electric blue with like a, a light pink. So it's so cute. I got a compliment on them at Target today. Somebody was like, yo man, those are, those earrings are cool. I was like, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, I love those. Uh, they're freaking adorable and just entertaining to me. <laughs> so that's what I got. I think that's pretty much everything. I always leave out something and then I forget to put it in a video. Like I left out um, in my last in my wedding video um, that my brother-in-law made us all staffs for the wedding, like walking sticks so we, we would look like hobbits, you know? And he made me a really awesome walking stick. I picked out the stick from the uh, bunch of sticks that he had cut from his yard. And he put, he lacquered them and he put on brass caps on the, he like uh, sanded them down and put brass caps on the bottom for us and then wrapped uh, my brothers, he wrapped in twine on the for the handle part, and he gave me like a, a velcro strap here for mine. Isn't that cool? I I liked the shape of this one despite it having um, been bored through by termites. <laughs> I thought it gave it a little bit of character to have all the holes going through it anyway, you know, um, and it makes it lighter. <laughs> uh, thankfully, not too flimsy <laughs> so yeah I forgot to show you guys that when that when that was around I keep forgetting stuff I need to write stuff down you know um but yeah I've been really busy I have already finished the thousand cranes I've, they've been finished for like over a month like maybe two months now um and I have threaded all of them they're all ready and prepped to go um the only thing left is to thread uh your guys's cranes that you sent me and i need i'm still there's there's been problems with the base um 
thank you for your donations, uh, Nicole and um, Jesse Bean, I think. Jesse Bean sent the other one. Um, but I think I might need to rethink it because... Well, one of the reasons is because of the size and the way that it puts together because you have to screw everything in that means that he would have to screw each individual branch that i make with all these bunches of you know wires sticking out like he would have to be like ah, 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 i gotta stick i gotta you know gotta screw it in and you know it, it's that and if the fiber optic LEDs are going through the wire, then how is he going to screw it? You know, like they would have to be like slide on to the, to each individual one. And it, it just sounds like it would be an assembly mess for Peter. And I don't want to do that to him, <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I'm just, I know there's going to be a better way to display it. I'm just having writer's block terrible writer's block uh as to what i could do um my brother-in-law suggested a shadow box i'm like that's so boring you know i want it to be like dynamic like i want it to um be three-dimensional because i've got all of them threaded you know they're all uh, by threaded i mean i don't i think i've already showed you but by threaded i mean i've got each individual one of them on a little loop at the bottom so that my idea was to hang them on a sheet of chain mail in like clusters so they would look like just chunks of like the different colors going around you know the center part of the tree which was going to be a wire wrapped tree but because a copper costs too much b um the size and shipping, I, I have to rethink and make it smaller, which I think I can do. I know I can do. I just have to think of a, um, a new way to incorporate that fiber optic light set and these cranes together, because those are my two main things that I want. And I also want to be able to showcase your guys' cranes um, on top of that. So as well as like my little uh, Boo Radley, um, not Boo, uh, uh, Tucker, and um, I should probably add one for Boo Radley, shouldn't I? I should add one later. I was thinking about, um, we were discussing in the Vlogarino Vlog Vlog Squad, uh, we were discussing putting like a, uh, a cardinal in it as well, but I think I need to <laughs> put a cap on what I'm doing right now. I need to not be learning how to make a paper uh cardinal <laughs> because i just there's too much <laughs> too much to do um so yeah and i've also been kind of concerned about how rent is going has gone up significantly and i owe my husband like six hundred dollars instead of four hundred dollars a month so I have to think about that, uh, which I have been, and I've been making chain mail to compensate. I've kind of been on a, a bit of a kick. I've, I've gotten a second wind. I've, I've been feeling really good lately, and um, I've started, I just started making as much as I could with what I had left, and I've been doing pretty good. I've, I've made enough to order a thousand rings so far, so I'm going to order a thousand mixed colored rings so I can try and, you know, do what I can with those. And I, I want to show you some of the, the pieces that I uh, have for sale on my Etsy now. So yeah, I've got it up on my Etsy. Yay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm praising myself because it's been so difficult for me to try and have enough energy outside of my job, you know, my day job, uh, to ha to, and motivation to, you know, get to chain mail, you know, and like, I've been so apprehensive about selling it because the cost of goods is so high and 
it takes so long to make it that it's just it's not it like it's it's more profitable for me to work at Macy's <laughs> you know like at, you know at my job so um but I I do it because I love it you know and I I know that I need to start selling it because I just I can't afford to live as much you know as I need to, I need to save up money to move out. I'd like to get out of Florida. Some transgender laws are going into effect here that I'm not liking at all. And I'm really, really concerned about. And it's so hard for me to, to push that back in my mind right now. Like with the Roe v. Wade and the... Uh, the governor of Florida trying to um, make it medically unnecessary for trans health care. So that could mean that um, uh, right now they're trying to do it for Medicaid. And that could mean that private insurances are so soon to follow. So that could mean that I don't get uh, testosterone every month um, or I have to pay for it out of pocket. I don't know if they would actually even make it. Uh, I don't know if they would even accept me if I onto their insurance if I was trans. So um, it's a really scary, scary time right now. Um, I, these are like worst case scenarios, and I really hope this does not pass in law um, or any regard you know i hope they don't make it a free-for-all at all in any in any in any case um because you know I, i'm just I, I, it's scary it's scary i'm scared i'm really scared um especially you know having a working uterus like being married to a man and looking like a man, I don't know how it's going to affect me legally in the future. Like, there's been talk about repealing gay marriage, and it's like, oh my god, why? Why is all of this happening all of a sudden, you know? And, uh, okay, the first one I want to show you that I made is these really cute little, oh, you can't really see the color. Can you see the color? Uh, it was so hard to photograph these too. I've just got terrible lighting in my house. I need a light box. Um, they've got little pink rings, light pink rings, and it's a rainbow chain connecting them. And I, of course, I got my little, uh, my signature, Love Koi, and it has my name in kan Japanese kanji on the back with a heart around it. And I made them in purple as well cute right i've always wanted something that's like a little subtle that i could wear like if i was in a professional setting or something a little just a little dash of pride a little a uh, little bit of color in my life you know <laughs> or i could probably wear it as an anklet too huh? make it a little bit longer yeah um but yeah i've got two 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 of each color uh made so that's one of the first times I've ever um, made, like, multiple of an item. Um, I'm not used to that, and I, I don't like repetition, so um, I try to avoid doing the same thing over and over and over again because I get bored very, very quickly. I get bored after the second one, you know? So, um, yeah, I've, I've got, you know, very finite amount <laughs> of things. I'm sure I, I've already put this design aside and I'm, I'm already working thinking of the next one you know so um i also made this bracelet it is a teal and uh lilac they called it it's not as light as a lilac but it's like a, a bright fuchsia color it's really cute it moves really nicely it's very slinky this is called a half persian and let me tell three and one let me tell you this little 
or right here is a to make okay it i literally cried almost cried three times while making this <laughs> it was not worth it <laughs> it seemed like to me you know i don't know if i want to continue making this weave uh because it, it just it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of patience you know um, but after I learned it, I kind of got the hang of it, but it, it's, it's <sighs> I, I learned it initially to save rings and I don't know. Um, now that I know it, maybe, but I don't know if I want to repeat <laughs> doing it, you know, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I also made... This one, uh, I believe, is sold to one of my former co-workers at Lowe's. She has it on hold. It's a... I just had some blue... My, my co-worker from Macy's told me that she wanted a blue bracelet, similar to the one that I gave away to one of my... Uh, one of the bosses was leaving from work, so I gave him a bracelet as a parting gift. And... Uh, she, she saw it and she was like, oh my goodness, I want, I want one of the bracelets. You know, I, I was like, well, what color, what color do you want? And she's like, blue, just blue. <laughs> and I was like, just any shade of blue, uh, multiple shades of blue. And she's like, yeah, yeah, just blue. <laughs> so I made two different bracelets. I already sold her the other one, so I can't show it, but it was all the, um, light blue. Uh, it was whole it was all light blue in this weave and then it had teal uh on the ridge so it was like lined down the along the center with teal and then it had all light blue for the rest of it she bought that one and this one is teal on the other underside mixed with stripes of dark blue and light blue which turned out very very um art art artistic and uh colorful so i really like that one and she did too my coworker did too so that one's really fun now for the last one my favorite i really like this guy because he feels like a little pet you know <laughs> and i learned how to put spikes on a bracelet which i did not know how before so i'm really excited about that so this guy my little dragon bracelet check him out he's got fiery spines going down he's got little spikes and he's got red and yellow rings yellow along the spine and then red along the ridge this is called a dragon back weave how natural right and then on the end of the little ta i have a little tail tassel little little oh look at this tail and i have my signature on the inside so it's kind of you know it's hidden a little bit when you put it on so it's not in the way of the tail little tail and this i love the clasp this little hinge clasp so it's super easy to get on just presses like that and springs back i love that and the dragon is biting it isn't that fun i love this guy i i'm so proud of myself for figuring out how to put spikes on it as well ah so proud of him I love him. I hope whoever has him gets him. He is enjoyed because I love him and I know that you'll love him too. He's my little guy. So, all right. That's everything. Um, I love you guys. I miss you. Thank you for reaching out to me and commenting on all my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And 
Thank you for watching my videos. You know, even if it's just nine views, that's nine whole people. You know, that's more people than I talk to in a day because I don't talk to my friends. <laughs> I'm very introverted. <laughs> uh, I get so caught up in what I'm doing that I just get fatigued and I just don't have energy to, to reach out to people sometimes a lot of the time. And um, so I appreciate it when you guys reach out to me and say hi and thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.